Hello, welcome to another Fighting Fancy Friday. Um, in the look at my collection video, uh, we sort of briefly touched upon this, the Legend of Zagor. I said we wouldn't have a detailed look there and then because I'd save it for its own video. This is that video. Um, I This isn't a childhood copy, I never had it as a kid. I bought this on the second hand market in the early 2000s. Um, I didn't even know it existed when I was a kid. Uh, it was released by Parker Brothers and it was based on a fighting fantasy game book of the same name and both were designed by Ian Livingston with art by Martin McKenna. It was released back in 1993 and was ever only released in Europe. Uh, what it features is like a 3D game board with three different coloured sections that are connected together by bridges, which we'll look at when we get inside the box. Uh, the first two sections are coloured grey and red and have game board tiles that are laid out face down on the squares. And when you land on them, you turn them over and there's stuff on them. The third section is coloured black and consists of the dragon's lair, complete with a hidden speaker. Now this... Here's if you can see this, uh, what it says down here, uh, 40k computer chip. That's where this comes in. Uh, it's an interactive game, uh, so that is where the interaction comes from. Uh, there's buttons on this section where you can, where players will interact with it with the game, and then Zagar will announce various events during the game. Um, which is quite cool. He, he laughs and crackles. He'll say things like "Barbarian." Uh, which is pretty cool. So uh, let's have a look at what's in the box. Um, let me turn it over and show you the back yet, yeah, because there's all stuff in here. But the box, this is the inside of the box. This is uh, at the assembly guide. Um, so you can see that's what the uh, game board's going to be. So here's your first two sections here. Uh, and this is the bridge across. And then this here is the actual interaction bit here. This, uh, what's it called? Dragon's Cave here, I believe it's actually the speaker cleverly hidden this sort of great bit here. And here's where you push all the buttons, but yeah, so there's this. Uh, I'm going to have to sort through this because I haven't really done much with it since I got it. I've just sort of left it as it is. Uh, I didn't paint the miniatures. Uh, these are painted. And if you can see here, if I grab this, what's this, this little walk thing here. Um, it looks like they're painted in enamel. Ugh. which I don't know they've painted enamel or so I don't know whether to just strip them or just paint over them use this as an undercoat almost I honestly don't know is it too thick enamel's quite thick anyway it's the only thing I mean it really does look like enamel or it's been varnished it's GW paint varnish I recognise sort of some, some, some of the colours Oh, that looks like bleach bone and blood red on the skeleton there. That's probably snot green and with that warlock purple or something like that, wasn't it? Anyway, we'll have a look at the miniatures in a minute. I'll drop the camera down to a uh, a better view for that. Um, I don't know what this is? This just came with it when I bought it for second hand market. It's just a tube for the glitter. I don't know if it's someone used it in the game. You don't need it for the game. Um, so what we've got here, we have the instructions, the Legend of Zagor. This is the instructions, yeah, it's the introductory. Takes four double A's. Don't you have to play the game. Which I'll go over when we actually I do plan to play the game on the channel. So I do want to uh, go over how to play the game then rather than this video. Uh, but yeah, it's, it looks probably more complex than what it is. So we got that. Um, I'm probably going to put these in bags, proper bags. This is this is all pretty much as it come, and I just sort of utilise it as it is. There's the bridge. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So the bridge has these bits here. I kind of uh, one of these. These go in here, like so. oh, wrong way. These will go here, like so. Forming your bridge, which is pretty nifty. Um, various little bits and pieces. Uh, I mentioned some tiles earlier on that go on the board. That's what these are. So you have these, 
and this sort of equipment and bits to help you. Now this goes on the various bits at the bottom board. So it's a I, I'm going to drop the, hold on, let me pause, I'm going to drop down and let's have a zoom in so we look at some stuff. That's better, Ra. So, yeah, we've got all these different things here. We've got a water bottle, getting one stamina, some armor here, they're double-sided. These ones aren't, these are the bigger ones, so they'll be like that, so you don't know what you're going to get. Turn it over. You'll see it on the Let's Play, hopefully, so you've got loads of these. These are all pretty much complete. Uh, you got, look, donkey's head. Like if you're in mafia, so you've got a ton of these. I say I'm going to rebag these uh, after I've done this video. All these little sandwich bags just no good. Uh, I forget what these are. Let's have a look. Let's remind me. We got fireball roll die. I think these are events. Yeah, so these are green. So you got uh, look like dungeon bits on the back. You flip them over, and there's stuff in there. So they're just different. Levels of stuff. Uh, a load of these uh, coins, I believe. Yeah, so they're coins and they have different values on. I think these are meant to be gold coins. So one, fives, ones, threes, etc. So you have a load of those. Oh, tens. Yep, yeah, got those. Uh, so these, these are more items. Lots of tokens in this game. Yeah, so these are all your tokens for health, armor, missing bits, and got loads of sort of things here, which I totally forget what they do. Uh, more of these tiles. The ones are grey. So I think some of these have been misplaced. That grey one from earlier on should be in this one. The grey one here, all right. The orange ones, red ones, I guess. The red section of the board, yeah. So, what this is, this is the board here. So, these would get placed on here, like so. And each time you land on them, pick one up, turn it off, and you follow. What the event, if you've ever played Talisman, these are almost like the adventure cards, replacement for the adventure cards. You have those, so you have each different section has its own kind. Uh, what's these? What are these? I don't know, I forget. Oh, I remember these are uh, so these are the actual rooms, so ugh. like a jigsaw puzzle, these will. Like I'm not going to be able to find, I might do, there we go, I'm not going to be able to find it and I'll find it straight away. These go here and these form the actual rooms, covering the whole up, so, and there's different events will happen in the room. This game takes ages to set up, and I've played it a few times, it's fun. And we have some cards, these are treasury type cards I guess. No, I forget. I actually say I played it a few times. It's been a few years since I played it, but so you have these on the back treasure thing, and then on the other side you have a chest with a question mark and a number in the top right hand side, which I totally forget what it's for. We'll find out when we do the let's play. That's the artwork for that. Uh, next up, more cards. These have sort of that on the back. So these are more look more like adventure cards. Destiny, there we go, Time Warp. You may play this card at the end of your turn. It allows you to have another turn immediately, then discard. So let me look at this. This is probably what we're here for. I'm gonna go through these individually, I think. Just cause it's art. It's fighting fantasy art in color, in card. Life, long fingers. That is creepy. Long fingers screen hurricane wings that's great art so I think it's what we're here for isn't it all this sort of thing summer monster teleport life got that 
What's that? Invisibility. So I'm reading these upside down for me. Uh, teleport. Some of these arts quite similar. Speed. But it's still good to look at. Drink magic. Merchant. A okay. game. Name's Tim. Tim Merchant. Weapons. Ghost. Death. These look like spells. Arrow. Slip. Mm -hmm. Tunnel. Look at him. That little dwarfy babes there tunneling. Still. Magnetism, but how do they work? Oh, there's an old reference to <laughs> fine carpet, alchemy, free sucker. Jump, does that say jump or hump? Jump, <laughs> jump around. Yep, Dean, Dean, jump around. Transformation! Fool's gold. Uh, about the stone roses. Good song. Healing. Charm monster. He looks perfectly charmed there. Magic screen. Life. Jump. Tunnel. Scapper. That for a chaos warrior. Mm. See that one? We'll look at the minis and miniatures in a minute. Rust. Freeze. Ghost. Transformation. Is it not? Transformation. I think we have. Visibility. Definitely seen. So they repeat in a bit. Magic. Charge. What we've seen. Item warp. That's barbarian and half, isn't it? Vision. It's evolution, baby. What's that got that massive number at the bottom? Yeah. Switch. Switch. Magic charge. So that was a good look at the art there. Great art. Um, next up, we've got uh, natural. Have a look at these. Uh, these are the sheets, the character sheets. Uh, so they are single sided. This has all the stats on. So we have dwarf here. Oop, I'm getting it in shot. Dwarf. So that shows all the strength, stamina, gold. Sure, really that should have been skill. Skill and stamina rather than strength. But who the hell? His equipment. You can hire people. He's tell you what keys to push which we have on the board here and this black thing here, these buttons here, they got little symbols on that match these. So dwarf, sign on, first level combat. What's that button? Barbarian, you'd push that button. Uh, warrior, you push that button. And wizard, you'd push this button here. And then you have this button and that button. Which I forget what, that, what happens. Wizard. Was a cheat. Warrior. What's up? Barbarian. How are we on that? That's the character sheets. Uh, what should we look at next? Uh, I have a sheet here I want to get out of the way first before we look at the plastic. Some sort of order to this chaos. Description of adventure tiles. So it's just like a little cheat sheet. Here, let's see what they are here. So every single symbol has. So you look at this up, just easier. All the monsters we're going to be fighting, I guess. Pit, hag, giant spider, dark elf, warrior, wizard, and ghost. Not all the monsters. There's models for things, but that's that's that. That's cool. Uh, now the board. That's what this is here. Comes in basically multiple sections of plastic. I have a lower level, a middle level, and this black bit is the upper level. 
Once we have D10, to us. Uh, and it also has this wicked dragon head sort of M bit here. It's going to go, I believe it goes somewhere like this. Something like that, doesn't it go? So we'll have a look at the guys later on. It clips on like that, and then the bridge goes here. I forget where this goes. I don't know where the bridge goes. Yes, yeah, so that's its horns come off. That's pretty cool. I mean, I'll stick that on there on, but I'm just thinking whether I paint this or not. Um, I don't know. I mean, if I did, it, it, this would have to be really dark grey. This would have to be fairly light grey. I don't know. I might do. I might paint it. We'll have to see. That's the uh, that loud. And this is the red layer. Yes, yeah, lovely and detailed. So little bits and pieces on here. So you can see the rooms. There's stuff in the rooms. So uh, where's this one? This one. Where am I pointing? Where's my finger? Nope. Nope. I'm trying to get there. Yeah, this. So nope. I'm going on back. <laughs> like, yeah, I was on it. You can see my finger. What an idiot. So you've got skulls and treasure there. There's that. Let's have a look at the miniatures. That's what we're pretty much all here for. So, <clears throat> as I said, I didn't paint these. So, uh, I don't know if they're enamel or what. I don't know whether my normal paint trick is using Dettol, so I don't know whether to try getting rid of these in Dettol. But there's the Warrior model. You can see how shiny it is. So is that enamel paint or is it just varnished? Yes, it is the wizard. I think that paint's gone there quite thick. Uh, I'm trying to find the heroes first. Uh, Barbarian is non-painted, so that's handy. Actually fairly detailed models uh, for a ball game. Um, I think this is the dwarf. That's the most ugliest looking dwarf I've seen. Oh, black. And this, yeah, the player character's all in black plastic. Now this isn't a player character, this is the shopkeeper. Any shopkeeper with a cat. A really happy face. That's, so you've even got a shopkeeper, I forget where he goes, he just goes on the board somewhere. Um, next up we'll have a look at I don't know, a little goblin type dude. Quite small. Uh, this dude had limited paints. There's a lot of purple here, and he's giving him a nice gold tunic. Got a goblin. Uh, there's one of those, two of those. Got one here as well. Two goblins. Uh, I think there's only two goblins. I'd imagine this is your orcs. Dual wielding. Have two of those. Oh, uh, next up in the greens, a uh, troll, I think. That's going to be a troll. Looking, I don't know, his eyes like, uh, no, it looks, oh, I just thought when I got this, he looks like he's wearing a monocle. Hello, I'm a posh troll. Um, I think that's the ogre. Unpainted, which is handy. I think that's an ogre. Um, we have another ogre of a different weapon. I'm going to try and get rid of the paint, I think. Uh, I have some Chaos Warriors. Uh, these are slightly different to Games Workshop Chaos Warriors, but similar at the same time. Uh, so there's some Chaos Warriors. One unpainted, one painted. And a Chaos Warrior isn't too bad. Just no shading on it. Still try and strip it. Probably try on a little goblin first. Uh, next up, we have some undead. You've seen I showed these off earlier on the skeletons. 
Okay, I'll put the skeletons. Um, and some zombies. I don't know, I always imagine fighting fantasy zombies being brown, really leathery brown skin. I don't know why. You have a demon type dude. Have a demon dude. Gold booties. Uh, yeah. Cool. And we have a dragon whose wings come off, but. But it's not broken. Normally, these sort of things this breaks. But little dragon here. That's pretty cool. He's looking good. And uh, Zagar himself, who looks like that. That is Zagar. And that is the uh, components to the game. Um, I say we're not going to cover how to play it in this uh, video. We'll go over that when we do a let's play of it, so we can go over how to play it in that video and then show you how it's played. So until that comes out, uh, that's it for uh, Legends of Zagar for now. But um, cheers for watching, guys. Uh, until the next fighting fantasy video, please take care.